Wansley v. First National Bank of Vicksburg concerns what happened after two Mississippi farmers used their farmland to secure a loan. Two brothers, Tom and Julian Wansley, held 4,200 acres of farmland in Sharkey, Mississippi. They divided it in half and worked their parcels independently. Both Wansleys got crop production loans from First National Bank of Vicksburg. In the preceding years, they'd been having trouble paying off these loans. So, in 1982, the bank asked for some additional security. The Wansleys sought the help of attorney John Wheelis, who'd worked with them on a number of transactions over the years. Wheelis was also general counsel to the bank, was a member of its board of directors, and owned a large amount of bank stock. Each Wansley executed a deed of trust conveying his interest in the land to Wheelis as trustee. Tom's land was valued at $620,000, and Julian's at $850,000. These deeds of trust secured the Wansley's financing through the 1984 crop year. Alas, the 1984 harvest was disappointing, and the Wansley's couldn't pay the bank what they owed. Wheelis foreclosed and put the land up for sale at public auction. The bank was the only bidder. It offered the Wansley's $500,000 each, which they accepted. The Wansley's then sued the bank in Chancery Court. They argued that the court should void the foreclosure because Wheelis wasn't a disinterested trustee due to his financial interest in the bank. The court dismissed this complaint and affirmed the bank's title to the land. The Wansleys appealed to the Mississippi Supreme Court. The court reversed the lower court's decision, holding that the bank's failure to appoint a disinterested trustee rendered the sales voidable. It invalidated the foreclosure sales. The bank appealed to the court for rehearing.